Y'all, this is your boy Neil Britella back with another road video. Title of this video is The Mysteries of Christ. Let's talk about it. I was just in meditation, you know. I'm on my fast. I do a three day fast every week. Me and my lady made that dedication not only to ourselves but to Father God who are in heaven. Now, um, I know I've been fighting this ear infection, so that's kind of been throwing me back a little bit. But still, I've been getting a lot of channels. Still been getting a lot of more revelations from the Holy Spirit. And I'd definitely like to talk more about what I've discovered on my journey. For you brothers and sisters who are on the journey, who have accepted Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Yahweh Shai, right, as your personal Lord and Savior, and you are trying to live by what the book tells you to live by, you know? That man shall not live by bread alone, by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Now the deeper mysteries of Christ, it's a deep one. And the reason why I say this is because the more you grow in Christ, the more your understanding is gonna grow in the word. Now, to an outsider person who may not have the Holy Spirit, may not under understand the Bible, or understand the lifestyle of a believer they're gonna look at you and say that you're dead that you have no knowledge you have no consciousness you know you hear this a lot in the conscious community you hear this a lot in other communities they always try to attack the believers Christian folks you know and I'm just getting tired of that because now God has opened my mind to a whole new understanding of his word and a lot of his mysteries and deeper mysteries is hidden in his word. And a lot of people are misinterpret his scripture because they have a carnal mind. See, you have to learn how to empty yourself to the spirit. You got to learn how to empty yourself to God and allow God to fill you up with his spirit. See, head knowledge is different from spiritual knowledge. See, we might think what well, we have as a lot of books about spiritual things is spiritual knowledge or even sometimes our own experience you might say okay we're we on a whole different level than another person because we experience more things they may be true to some extent but you gotta understand that when you're talking about christ the mystery of christ is all about him it's never about the individual so a lot of spiritualities that you may be studying or be under, let me talk about works of the flesh, doing works to gain some type of approval or validation. It's 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 ego, you understand? It's ego based. Versus when you just let go of your desires, your will, your expectations, and you allow the Holy Spirit to direct your life, guide your life, instruct you. You know. I would not say my walk with God is 100% perfect because nobody's walk with God is 100% perfect. I'm learning as much as anybody else is learning. But I would say this, the more you learn to let go of what you desire and allow God's will for your life to be implemented in your life, the more you're going to start to resonate with that word. The scriptures is just going to point itself out to you. Like, for instance, I was listening to the whole story of John, right? You know the scriptures talk about the story of John, the gospel of John. Well, I listened to the whole entire scripture many times. But this time around, I'm listening to it, and like, when I'm listening to the parables and what Jesus Christ was talking about, it's like my level of understanding went to a whole nother level because the things he was saying and the things he was discussing I kind of compared that understanding to the older understanding that I had, especially when I was in the conscious community and I was dealing with the occult. It was two different levels of understanding, two different levels of information, two different levels of interpretation, two different worlds of interpretation. Forget the levels. You see, if you don't have the mind of Christ or strive to have the mind of Christ, Allow the Holy Spirit to give you that information. You're going to misinterpret his word. You're going to add to his word or you're going to take away from his word. And that's what he says. It has to be exactly how the Holy Spirit wants it to be. You know, 
man we always gonna try to tailor made things to our liking because we are always looking for glory we always looking to for praise but when you walking with god there's no praise on your behalf any praise that you get from man you must give it on to god you must say okay somebody praise you say oh man i like the way how you teach this sermon i like the way how you was praying i like the way how when you teach on your youtube channel you make me feel a certain way now you may feel you may feel some type of way you may feel happy because you're like damn i'm helping these brothers and sisters out i feel like i'm doing something there's nothing wrong with that but there's a lot of things wrong with the picture of taking the glory for yourself that's a no-no in this walk you taking the praise that belongs to God and giving it on to yourself here you go this is you all right you know you taking that you taking that praise and you taking it on to yourself and you making yourself a God see all these other religions and traditions and paganist traditions they try to make you be out to be a God right and I know a lot of people may come with scriptures to debate me on that but it's not a debatable topic it's something that you must experience with God yourself you must have a personal relationship with God that's one two you must worship him in spirit and truth so that means everything that you thought you knew about Christ you need to throw it out you need to start from scratch you need to allow the Holy Spirit to reveal the deeper mysteries of this book because you can read the same stories over and over and over a million times but guess what every time that you read the story of Jonah and the whale every time you read the story of Christ being hanged on the cross the deeper revelations the deeper insights will be revealed to you once you are obedient another thing about the mysteries of Christ you must be obedient to what God is telling you how would you be obedient you have to follow his word Okay, now people say, okay, I'm reading the Bible. It says this and that. You know, I'm not trying to do this and that. Some people might say, okay, some of these laws are done away with because Christ died on the cross for our sins. So we don't have to practice the laws like how we used to. We got grace. Okay, that may be true. But what I'm trying to implement at is not just reading your word and following what the scripture is telling you about sin. He said, obedience is better than sacrifice. Let's start right there. Obedience to what the Holy Spirit says in your conscience mind. I mean, your consciousness speaking to you when you're doing something that you're not supposed to be doing. Like, for instance, God said, flee from fornication. Let's start right there. God says, flee from fornication. Every other sin that a man does is outside of his body, but a man who does a sexual immorality sins against his own body. So it tells you to flee from fornication. So what is fornication? Masturbation, watching pornography, having sex without being married, etc. That's fornication, right? Looking at somebody with lustful intent. That's fornication, right? So when you get an opportunity to fornicate the opportunity presents itself and you hear the holy spirit talking to you saying so and so you know you don't even have to say it in words you just be that feeling that gut feeling like nah i don't think i should be doing this especially if you're a born again believer you have the holy spirit because i'll tell you straight, straight up honest truth even though i was in the red pill the manosphere dealing with female nature all that stuff conscious community every time that it came to me having sex I will always get a gut feeling I will always get a a, a, a a gut feeling when it came to fucking with women I'm just being honest with you excuse the language but you know when it came to having sex it's like especially if it's not the woman that God is trying to send your way or present to you I wouldn't say yeah, that person is the one because we could do a whole nother video on that. But for now, let's let's stick to topic. Let's say this is a person that God is not assigned to your life. 
right? But you in relationships with this person. This person is not good for you. But every time you try to have sex with this person, you always get that gut feeling. That's a sign from the Holy Spirit telling you, look, stop dealing with this person. Stay away from this person. Back away. Stop inter entertaining sin. Because every time that you sin, you separate yourself from the protection of God. You actually give demons legal access to attack you. That's why a lot of you guys have sleep paralysis at night. That's why a lot of you guys have wet dreams or sexual assaults in your dream. Where spirits or spirit spouses have sex with you in, in the night. And you wake up with your sheets wet. That's a whole other time before a whole other discussion. But I'm just giving you an example. When you obey... Your consciousness, meaning that the Holy Spirit who's speaking through your conscience, right, is telling you not to do something because that is unlawful. When you obey that, that is righteousness unto God. That is a sacrifice unto God because you was obedient. You listened to what the Holy Spirit told you to do or not to do. When you go against that, it's disobedience. What got Adam and Eve got kicked out of the garden in the first place? Willful disobedience. When you willfully disobey the Most High, curses come upon your life. Diseases come upon your life. Death comes upon your life. Sin comes upon your life. When you willfully disobey God, you allow generational curses to plague not only you, but your future generations. He said rebellion is, is similar to witchcraft. So practicing witchcraft and being rebellious, willfully rebelling against the Most High, it has the same consequences as you were doing witchcraft. Feel what I'm saying? That's why Jesus Christ said to the people, he said, the will of your father, the devil, you do. Because in you, you, you have unlawful members. You have, the, uh, you have a different law that's contrary to the, to the will of God in your life. And when you are born again, you must start to train your members of your body to start doing the will of God. Because now you have the power of the Holy Spirit to stop sinning. That's why when Christ delivered a person from a sickness or a bondage, he told those individuals to sin no more. The woman who was caught doing adultery, she, he said, listen, I forgive you, sin no more. That is very important because the more times you keep sinning, you willfully sin, you go against the Most High, after you've been delivered, your state is more worse than the first because those demons that was you were delivered from or that lifestyle you were delivered from, those demons come back with vengeance. They get seven more spirits more wicked than the last person and that state of that person is worse than the first so this is why people start going crazy this is why people got to be in hospital this is why people go schizophrenic this is why people kill themselves because they keep living in sin even though God has saved them so many times and God is really teaching me through my own walk like yo this is not a game the mysteries of Christ he will be, he will withhold certain information from you if he sees that you're not being obedient see obedience is more greater than a sacrifice so for those hebrew israelite brothers and sisters who still want to practice the law and sacrifice things right that's on y'all but you guess what that's not obedience to god that's that's still practicing the law which the law was done away with when christ was sacrificed on the cross for our sins he gave us the grace to live a holy life, right? He didn't give us grace to keep living in sin. He gave us the grace, the power, because he understood that the flesh don't have the power to stop sinning. Only a greater power can stop the flesh from living that sinful lifestyle. That's why he had to die on the cross. So those are the greater mysteries of Christ. You understand? And... The more I learn how to fast and refrain from being um, sexual all the damn time and um, reading my scriptures, understanding the word of God, God gives me that strength to stop being lustful. I'm not even going to lie to you. You know, me and my lady, we have a beautiful relationship. You know what I'm saying? And yes, we do what we do. 
that's that's my business and her business but you know when i sit here and i look at how we started and where we at right now it's a beautiful progress and i say this because of the holy spirit because the holy spirit gives us the the power to overcome lust the, the holy spirit gives us the power to override temptations of the flesh you feel what i'm saying that now when i walk down the street i see a beautiful sister i'm not lusting after this sister like how i used to be when i didn't have that control so one of the things when you learn to be obedient God gives you more power and more grace. That's another thing. God gives you more grace to walk this path and you have more abilities to do the right thing. Obedience is very important. That's one of the key mysteries, which is not really a mystery, but a key understanding to understanding Christ. I hope that helped. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Trolls will be blocked and deleted. Peace.